Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum and good morning. How are you all feeling today? Good? Excellent. Alright, so for today, before we start, I want you to look at this picture right here and tell me, what can you see? Okay, Japan? That's right. What about this one? What is this? This is a mountain. Good. What about this one? What is this? This is a tree. Excellent. What about this one? This is a house. Good. So this is a traditional Japanese house. So for today, we are going to learn about traditional Japanese house. So everyone, take out your book, page 48, right? And we are going to read together. For today, we are going to read. That's right. Okay, so this is a traditional Japanese house with a garden. So this is the traditional Japanese house and this is the garden. People never wear shoes in Japanese houses. They wear slippers. So in a Japanese house, you don't wear your shoes. You wear slippers. So these are the slippers. There are a lot of paper doors in a Japanese house. So this is a paper door. This is a paper door. And this also a paper door. Alright, so in a Japanese house, you just need to slide the paper door and you can open it. Right, you can see from the picture, right? Good. Okay, next. There is one big room with mats on the floor and a low table. So this is one big room. We have mats on the floor and one low table. So this is the low table. People sit on cushions. We have one, two, three, four cushions. There are four cushions in the picture. And people, Japanese people, they sit on cushions. This room is the living room and the dining room too. So what is a dining room? Yes. A dining room is a place where you eat. That's right. Okay, next. At night, this room becomes the bedroom. So in the morning, this room is the living room and also the dining room. But at night, this room becomes the bedroom. What is a bedroom? That's right, a bedroom is the place where we sleep. Okay, next. They put the table near the walls and make beds on the mats. So now they put their beds on the mat. Excellent. Okay, next. So for today, we are going to learn the difference between there is and there are. Okay, first, for there is. When do we use there is? Right, when there's only one object. One, just one. When there's just one, we use there is. Now, let's look at some examples. Oh, there is one firework right here. So, we use there is. Read after me, okay? 
There is a firework in the sky. Good. So one firework we use there is. Okay, this one. Just one flower, right? So the sentence is there is a flower in the garden. Okay, good. Now next one. Read the next one. There is a butterfly near the flower. One butterfly, right? So we use there is. Okay, next. There are. So there are we use when more than one object. Two, three, four, a lot of. So we use there are. So here is the example. All right. We have one, two, three, four. Four kids right here. So more than one, right? So we use there are. Now read after me, okay? There are four kids playing in the garden. Excellent. Okay, next one. There are falling leaves in the garden. So, we can see the falling leaves right here. More than one, right? A lot. There is a lot of leaves. So, we use there are falling leaves in the garden. Okay. So, that is all for today. That is all for today. Right. I want you to read the traditional Japanese house. And, okay, you read the traditional Japanese house and send your audio to me. Okay, and then do your module page 64 right that is all from me today thank you